The annual Matty Awards in honor of the late 1970 Muhlenberg graduate Aaron Matty keeps the rivalry between the Mules and Moravian alive. Only separated by 15 miles, the two colleges battled out in NCAA Division III sports all year long. The school with the better head-to-head -head record keeps possession of the trophy until the following spring. Regina Patochny has more. The 2010-2011 Matty Awards had two less competitions between Moravian and Muhlenberg this season as the Greyhounds had to drop their men's and women's lacrosse program. But that didn't mean the 17 other games weren't competitive. It's pretty intense. Um, I mean, all season long, it's in the back of their mind that last game of the year we're playing Muhlenberg. And, you know, this year it was really important for us to get the win. And um, you always want to play your best against them, too. I live in Bethlehem, so obviously I was more of a Moravian fan. My sister went there, and actually my sister's fiance went there. And I definitely, as Mary Beth Spurk said before, I went to the Moravian basketball camps. So I definitely was a Moravian fan growing up, and but now I'm obviously a Muhlenberg fan. Um, but I didn't know as the rivalry when I was younger, but now it's definitely like just within every sport. This isn't only, you know, about one year, you know, one event. This is about generations of student athletes at both institutions really, you know, really going after it. And it's nice for our student athletes to, to be at an event like this and be part of that legacy. It helps you just appreciate, like, good competition, I think. Um, you know, friendly competition, but at the same time, you always want to be prepared um, no matter what you're going to be doing. And Ravy Muhlenberg kind of teaches you that, um, you know, you just got to bring your A game with everything you do. The two schools make it interesting after an early tie. The Mules went ahead 8-3 with wins in men's and women's basketball, baseball, and women's tennis. But the Greyhounds claim men's tennis, softball, and both track and field meets bringing them within one, leaving it to be determined by men's golf. Muhlenberg clinches a 9-7 victory for their third win in a row. To me, it means a lot because I knew Aaron. I was here when he was a player. Uh, his untimely death touched our community and touched Lehigh Valley sports. So to me, it's important, and our kids take it as important, too. When we were getting close to the end of the year and everything was all tied up, everybody knew about it. They were paying attention. And when the golf team won, that was it. it was The tie was broken. There was joy at Muhlenberg. So it, it's an important event for us. And, it's something that's very good for the Lehigh Valley. It's something that is absolutely what Division Three athletics should be all about. I'm very excited. I'm bragging to my sister when after this luncheon, so <laughs> I'm happy. It was a good effort. We came closer this year than in the other ones, and uh, I think we're pretty close to getting it back. I think this year we were uh, a little unfortunate with a couple of, a couple of results, but um, I've talked to those coaches already, and uh, they're out recruiting the talent that we need to get, uh, to get back at it. So um, needless to say, we're uh, pretty proud of the results that we have over time. We've uh, had some great history with this thing. I don't know what the total is. I think we need to go back to that trophy and check out the total number of uh, Moravian years versus Muhlenberg years. I think we still might be up in that regard. The Hounds do lead in overall Maddie Awards. Since the first year in 1987, Moravian has spent 13 years with the bragging rights to Muhlenberg's eight. There also have been three ties. Regina Patochny reporting, Two Sports.